Just look at this place. Look at the colours. Hola amigos and welcome back to Mexico. I am just attempting to walk down some steps without falling to my death, which can mean only one thing. You might be able to tell where I am and also you've probably seen in the thumbnail of this video. Yes, I'm back in Guanajuato, back. Yes, so I was here last year for about four or five days, about nine months ago. I filmed a couple of videos here and today is Saturday afternoon and I am beyond excited because today is the video you've all been waiting for, okay? I'm going to meet someone very special, which you might recognize from another YouTube channel, someone else that's based in Mexico. <sighs> Finally, this is happening. Let's get going. So I'm just heading to a cafe, but before we get there, let's take a bit of a look around Guanajuato. What are my opinions in terms of coming back here after nine months? So originally, when I was first here the last time, you might remember that I wasn't the biggest fan because of the tourist aspect. Yes, it's a common area for foreigners to come to in terms of tourism. However, those feelings quickly subsided and I fell in love with the place in terms of the beauty, the color, the architecture. It's just absolutely stunning. And one thing I noticed coming here after nine months was the fact that I feel like my Spanish has got a lot better because I didn't have an issue finding my accommodation. I was speaking to people more confidently, you know. So it just goes to show that you can improve with a language even if you don't actively learn it. Fantastic. Yeah, this can be the arrived at the restaurant shot. Right, hola amigos. Again, it's a little bit later and I'm at a restaurant. And guess who I'm with? Okay, so anyway, I'm at a restaurant and um, can you guess who I'm with? Look at the swirls! <laughs> <laughs> look who it is! One second. And then, okay, and I'm, I look there, right? Oh yeah, look there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Erin, I will let her introduce herself. <laughs> She's I'm a Aaron. bit nervous. <laughs> I was telling David I have no idea how to do this because I'm always the one holding the camera and yeah. it's a lot more comfortable to be the one holding the camera. I don't know what's I going I on right now. Control issues. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So if um, you don't know Erin, which is extremely unlikely, let's face it, because we, we share many of the same it's true, we do. crazy people we do. who follow and watch these videos. Um, but yeah, for those people that don't know Erin, tell, tell, tell the viewers a bit about yourself. Okay, Lovely. I have a channel on YouTube called Erin's Travels, very creatively named. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's about me and my travels, and I have a husband named Jesse and a little girl named Harper who is going to be four years old in like two weeks. Bonkers. Which is crazy. Birthday in Mexico. Feliz cumpleaños, yes. Harper. She's very excited. Um, she's getting some dinosaur toys. And oh, epic. unfortunately, like, we, yeah, we had to get them for her while she was with us because we need to get them in Leon. And so now oh, she knows about them. And no. so now every day it's like, <laughs> is it my birthday yet? Because I know about these things yeah. that, you know, so yeah. Mayhem. <laughs> Carnage. <laughs> Havoc. <laughs> it's As like you... number one parenting rule. Yeah. Don't don't do that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I used to open Christmas presents before Christmas Day and Did then wrap really? them up again. Don't tell my mum. She's probably oh, that watching is this. Hilarious. That is so. My mum's gonna tell me off now. Jesse has this thing where, <laughs> like, he can guess a gift. Yeah. Just by like he doesn't even have to pick it up and shake it. He just he just knows. It drives everybody crazy because you can't surprise him with yeah. anything. Bonkers. Yeah, yeah. And as you can tell, we're a bit hysterical today. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Is it because it's Saturday? We haven't even got yes. wine yet. So, it's um, true. It's true. It's just yeah. natural. Oh, Whoa, pigeons. 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 Um, Yeah, crazy. And, um, and just in terms of Mexico, so you've been here for how long now? Okay, so we've been in Mexico for almost a year and Guanajuato almost 10 months, I think. Cool. cool. Yeah. So, it's, I, so I've been in Mexico, I guess it's probably about the same time because yeah, yeah. take out the time I went to Colombia and all that it's about similar yeah. and um and obviously things are a bit different because i just travel aimlessly by myself whereas erin has a family <laughs> husband <laughs> a child we more move a little more like slowly yeah <laughs> it's a little harder to mm. I, I also a husband who doesn't like to travel yeah. uh, you know so it's, <laughs> it's i would hate a husband that 
doesn't like to travel. That would be the worst. <laughs> so we're going to have some food, aren't we? What are we ordering? Mm. So I'm getting enchiladas maneras, which is the typical dish of Guanajuato. So awesome. And I'm just having, yummy. I'm being basic. I'm being a basic bitch. Enchiladas rojas, uh, which is the hot one, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. Rojas Probably. verdes. Yeah. Sorry, Mexi Mexicans. It's red. It's all good. It'll be good. Yes. It's hard to go wrong with enchiladas. You can't go wrong with any Mexican food. No, except Defo. for that thing. Oh, except from the, the hairy kangaroo anus. <laughs> <laughs> About that. Oh, yeah. I think they've seen that now. That video has already gone up. Yeah, it has. It has. <sighs> right, enough of us talking like idiots for a moment. Here is the food. So I have enchiladas rojas, enchiladas, chicken, I guess, cheese, onion, rice, arroz. Oh, here comes Erin's sangria. Wonderful. And what have you got, Erin? Let me just, um, oh, one second. Oh, no, it's fine. The lighting is still bad. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so this is enchiladas maneras. There are enchiladas down here, sometimes cheese, perhaps cheese, um, and then potatoes and carrots, Ooh. and it's always topped with chicken, but depending on where you go, the chicken could be different. Sometimes it's uh, a thigh on a bone, sometimes it's breaded and fried, so hmm. the chicken is, a, is always going to be a fun thing. Awesome. It looks a bit like what I had in Quedetido with the carrots and potato, oh. the big chunks. Yeah, so good. Awesome. So position this device <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> well cheers everyone and um, we're doing a cheers what is it salud salud ah see yeah. we can I speak mean, spanish i don't know that i always say that when people sneeze so <laughs> oh yeah the taxi driver said that to me the other day so i have uh, vino tinto mm -hmm. and, and sangria, sangria mm -hmm. which we can now say sangria not sangria We are the best eating. at Spanish. Yeah, let's yes. start eating. Yum. The very best. This is another thing I'm not used to. Two people on camera. <laughs> Trying to frame it? What is that about? <laughs> and I'm taller. <laughs> That's right. Oh, somebody said that to me in the comment. They're like, I saw you in Guadalajara. I was really surprised. I thought you were taller than that. <laughs> I'm like, no. Sorry to disappoint. I'm a wee little person. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm a YouTube couple. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh, and I've been down in Calais Subterranea. Subterranea. You went? Oh, yeah, I've walked all down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never ever walked in this. <laughs> Buses and, yeah. and all that stuff down here. Although they did have the Tia de los Muertos. Oh. oh my gosh, it was so cool. They had, it, they had a big like festival in the tunnels. Right, it's just me again now. I've had a glass of wine. It's weird just being me again. It's very strange. Erin is over there. I've got someone photobombing me. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> and we're just about to film um, a collab. I'm doing a collab for the first time ever. Amazing. <laughs> um, so there will be a video on Erin's channel at some point. We're both talking about how the fact we're feeling a bit lax. Lax is a great word with uploads. It's difficult because just to clarify everyone, we can't upload videos as soon as we film them because we need to edit them. It takes time. Okay, so it's time to get filming. And now, you, now you're the interviewer. <laughs> now I'm the interviewer. In case you don't get that reference, we have just filmed a couple of videos for Erin's channel. They will be coming up momentarily. As, as fast as Harper can edit them. Absolutely, good old Harper. I need a Harper. I know, right? In Child a, labor. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing. Preferably in a dinosaur costume. Yes. That would be great. Yes. So, to end this video, we're going to do a bit of a thought of the day, as we like to do. As you do. So you might remember I did a video recently in Mexico City where I had a complete meltdown in terms of long-term travel and everything. And Erin um, would like to give her thoughts on this, on the point of long-term travel and the realities of it. And sometimes it's not great, sometimes it's not perfect. And the fact that some YouTubers are not necessarily genuine. We are pretty Always. much, yeah. Always. Always. So, um, so Erin, what are, what were your thoughts? You know, it was funny because as I was watching that, like I could relate so much to that, and and I get a lot of comments and a lot of emails from people who are looking to move to Mexico, and I have, you know, a million wonderful things to say about moving to Mexico, like. Yeah. 
everybody should do it at least once in their life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like just, I'm, but I, I worry sometimes that people don't understand some of the emotional stuff that comes along with living somewhere where you, you know, don't know the language or you don't know the language well, or it's just a different culture from yours. Even if you're next door neighbors, like I just moved across the border, it's not that far. Yeah. Um, there is just, it's, it's a lot harder living somewhere other than where you're from. It's hard emotionally, especially if you're a sensitive person or you're a thoughtful person. Like there are some people like these things are not hard for, they just like go through your life and they're like, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Like, it's, and it just kind of everything rolls off their back. And if you are that type of person, like that is wonderful. Like you, that is like, I applaud you. But for a lot of us, you know, it's hard to not know what you're doing all the time. It's hard to not know how to do simple things that you should know how to do, like mail a letter. Mm. You know, how do I you have no idea how to letter? do that. I have, Clueless. I have several letters <laughs> at home that I'm supposed to mail, postcards from Harper to her grandmother. Like I haven't done it because you know I don't know how to do yeah. it. And it's just one, it's one more thing when every day is a long list of things you don't know and you're incompetent mm. at. It does, it is hard. You feel like that stupid, ignorant yes. foreigner. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And this is real life. And that doesn't mean don't do it. It doesn't mean it's not worth it. But I hope that people, I hope people aren't so blindsided. Um, because because I love travel so much, I think that, that part of it really surprised me more and it made it harder for me because I wasn't expecting it because I love that. When I travel, like if I'm going someplace for two weeks, for a month, that whole like I don't know what I'm doing, I love that. Mm. That's fun. It's, it's brilliant. delightful, right? Yeah. It's so cool. Like, oh, I don't even, what is this? This is new. That this unpredictability is new. and yes. lack of yes. routine yeah, is often exactly. great. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go home and everything is easy and normal, normal, in quotation marks, um, familiar. Yeah. And then you recharge and then you go back out and do it again. And when you live abroad, there is no recharge. There is no break from it. It's yeah. just tomorrow there's something new that you don't know mm. what you're doing about. Yeah. You know, and it does, it can it really can wear you down yeah. a lot. And and what about the fact that so we were talking about something earlier about YouTube and the fact that what you see on videos isn't necessarily everything that we do in life. Right. So, you know, right. doing the laundry, buying yeah. toothpaste. Yep. You know, putting yeah. the trash out. I'm speaking American English now. <laughs> putting things in the rubbish bin you know, in the rubbish bin you know realistically you yeah. don't want to see that but right. that is the reality and sometimes yeah. routine can bring you down yeah. and that's what happened to me in Mexico City yeah. and I'm sure it's happened to you many right. times right. over the last year as well yeah, yeah you just get into the motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> you get into the daily grind and yeah. And that stuff doesn't make it on the video and it's and it's not because we're trying to hide it it's just that you know it, it doesn't like when you're when you're frustrated because you can't figure out how you know to do something it's not the time when you're like oh yeah I'm gonna film this because this is great you know when I'm out having a beautiful meal with friends I'm like yes I want to document I want to film it because it's beautiful I want to remember it I want to yeah. share it you know that's when I'm feeling like you know when I'm walking around in Centro and there's somebody singing and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. That's when I'm like, oh, Out comes the camera. camera because yeah. it's exciting. You know, when I'm at home and I'm I'm sad and depressed and like lonely, mm. like that's not when I'm like, ooh, let's yeah. film it. I guess what I try yeah. to show, and I think you do as well, mm -hmm. is an honest and realistic view of what it's like to live in a country yeah. for a long period. Yeah. Because it isn't all shits yeah. and giggles. Yeah. Sometimes it's just one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you have a three-year-old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah, so the point is, you know, if you're thinking of traveling long-term or moving to Mexico, like Erin's yeah. done, and I've done essentially, yeah. although I'm moving, I'm moving very soon, um, it isn't always perfect. Right. You have to take the bad with the good. Yeah. And not necessarily believe all these things you see on YouTube yeah. channels about perfection and always being in this wacky crazy good mood because right. it's not like that right. think about it in your lives mm -hmm. you know are you like that every day no you're not at least probably not um, I mean maybe like if you are that's great yeah <laughs> can but, you please tell me how you do that yeah 
let us know in the comments how the hell you do that because we are incapable unfortunately uh, <laughs> Obviously today we're having a laugh and I think yeah, yeah. one of the things that a lot of people said in that video to me in comments was about meeting people and spending time socially. Hello! What yeah, are we yeah. doing? Yeah. And this makes all the difference. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, which is the thing like I wanna I want everybody to stop complaining about cities that attract a lot of gringos. Stop complaining about Ahik, stop complaining about San Miguel, stop complaining about those places because if you are gonna make this work for the long term you are going to need community and some yeah. people are going to find that in places like Guanajuato in places that, that or in other cities that have fewer um, fewer expats mm. and some people are not and so like just just stop like stop like hating on people because they go to places with established expat yeah. communities that they can just plug into. Even though it doesn't I've... mean that they don't want to be involved in the Mexican community. Yeah. It means that if you aren't fluent in Spanish, that's going to be hard mm. for you to do. So That's amazing advice because I think I've been a bit negative about that in the past. Oh, I in have the, too. You know, oh, it should be the real Mexico and don't yeah. go to Vallarta or Cancun. But actually, the longer I've been here, I think it would have been easier for me if I'd gone to somewhere like that. Same. To in, it would be easier to Same. integrate rather yep. than having that shock of rocking up in Doc Torres in Mexico City. <laughs> when you're traveling somewhere, don't go to the tourist places. When you want to live someplace, don't discount them. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Watch out for Erin's videos as well. They are absolutely immense. <laughs> they're they're going to be beasts to edit. Beasts. We are going to break the internet. So if you want us to break the internet, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. She knows what she's talking about. And subscribe to me, obviously. Yes. But also subscribe to Erin if you haven't already. The bell. The, the oh, the bell thing. Do the bell. Yeah, do the... Not Taco Bell. The what's it called? Bell. Yeah, the notification bell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Now we better do a, a thumbnail for the video. Oh, right. Is this Mexico? Job done. So thanks for watching everyone. It's goodbye from me. Sorry there's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's goodbye from me. Alright. See you later. Bye. And we'll catch you later. Yeah.